In this video, we will learn all the relevant medical information regarding lymphatic filariasis, also referred to as elephantiasis. We can characterize filariasis as a parasitic condition brought on by infection with nematodes or roundworms, belonging to the family Filariididia. These thread-like filarial worms have three distinct varieties. The first and most widespread form, Wachereria bancrofti, causes about 90% of cases. The majority of the remaining causes are made up of the second type, Brugia malayi. The final, less common variety is Brugia tamori. Adult worms nest in the lymphatic vessels and can live for approximately six to eight years and during their lifetime, produce millions of immature larvae called microfilariae that circulates in the blood. Microfilaria are transmitted to mosquitoes through the blood they swallow when they bite an infected person. In the mosquito, microfilariae develop into infectious larvae. When the infected mosquitoes bite people, Mature larvae are deposited on the skin from where they can enter the body. The larvae then migrate to the lymphatic vessels where they develop into adult worms, thus continuing a cycle of transmission. Lymphatic filariasis is spread by a variety of mosquito species, the most prevalent of which are the Culex, Anopheles, and Mansonia mosquitoes. Signs and symptoms of lymphatic filariasis include fever, inguinal, and, or axillary lymphadenopathy, testicular, and, or inguinal pain, limb, and, or genital swelling. Repeated episodes of inflammation and lymphedema result in elephantiasis of the legs, arms, scrotum, vulva, and breasts, as well as lymphatic damage, chronic swelling, and edema. In terms of diagnosis, the accepted technique for determining if an infection is active is the microscopic detection of microfilariae in a blood smear. The microfilariae that cause lymphatic filariasis circulate in the blood at night, which is known as nocturnal periodicity, hence, blood collection should be done at night to coincide with their arrival. Chest radiography, which can indicate pulmonary infiltrates, and ultrasonography which can show and monitor lymphatic blockage of the inguinal and scrotal lymphatic, are useful imaging investigations in the evaluation of filariasis. Additionally, ultrasound imaging could reveal live worms. Avoiding mosquito bites is the greatest strategy to prevent lymphatic filariasis from occurring. You must spend the night in an air-conditioned room or under a mosquito net. If you reside in a lymphatic filariasis-affected area, Wear long sleeves and pants, and apply insect repellent to exposed skin between nightfall and sunrise. As regards treatment, the preferred medication for treating lymphatic filariasis is diethylcarbamazine, the microfilariae, and some adult worms are both killed by this medication. In the end, if you liked this video, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell button to receive all new updates. Goodbye!